Hello and welcome to another episode of our special series Beating All Odds. We are all officially shut in our houses for over two weeks now. There is complete uncertainty about everything around us. In these unexpected, unprecedented times, while we are struggling to do our day-to-day -day tasks, there are leaders who are sitting at home running businesses, they're managing agencies, not only in their own country, but also in some neighboring countries. With me today is one such leader, Mr. Ajay Gupte, CEO, South Asia Wavemaker. Welcome to the show, sir. Hi, Nazia. Thank you. Thank you for having me. My first question to you is, how does it feel to get into a crisis as big as this within three months of taking up a new position? <laughs> Yes, <laughs> yes. So it, it's it couldn't have been <laughs> more sudden for me. But yeah, this is this is exciting. This is something that uh, uh, is completely unexpected. It's straight out of a Hollywood movie, uh, and uh, really, no one can plan for this, and no one can uh, be ready for something like this. Uh, and honestly, therein is is the excitement and the challenge of. Of of uh, of coming through this, uh, there is opportunity here. Uh, I believe if uh, if marketers and we agencies uh, play it well, uh, there is an opportunity here, and and uh, I look forward to coming out on the other side of this uh, stronger. Uh, what do you mean by good. opportunity? So uh, things will never be the same again. Uh, there will be a lot of changes which will happen. Uh, brand rankings will change. Uh, customer behavior will change. Uh, and it is uh, imperative on us, the onus is on us, uh, to uh, to write this change and, so, and stand along with this consumer uh, while he is going through this uh, change in behavior. And at the end of it, hopefully we... Uh, we stand stronger in his uh, in his consideration, uh, taking us forward. What what kind of changes in customer behavior are you expecting? Uh, so uh, there are se several changes. For example, a lot more time uh, going to be spent, uh, possibly um, on on screen. Uh, there is going to be uh, increased uh, OTT uh, consumption, uh, given the fact that uh, uh, entertainment. Is required right now, and therefore uh, they are going to lean in more on OTT. Uh, there's going to be increased uh, uh, inclination towards e-commerce. Uh, there's going to be uh, increased gaming possibly, and and these are uh, these are things which are going to ha happen and, and going to be a fallout of uh, of this uh, this thing that has been put on us. And therefore, uh, and, and, and you know, uh, while we are seeing massive changes right now, uh, we will not go back to normal. They will, we will end with slightly higher uh, levels than uh, than we got in into this lockdown. So, so those are the kind of things that we will see changing. You're saying that this lockdown in in this lockdown period, there will be a behavioral change in the sense that we'll continue to be stay more at home and consume more digital. No, so uh, behavior, uh, so more digital is being consumed right now. Uh, people will get used to better quality of programming, of OTT kind of programming. These things will become part of your life. And uh, and as uh, it will obviously not be at the same levels that we are seeing right now in the lockdown. But it will uh, remain a little higher than it was when we got in, is what I'm saying. You have very big clients, you know, very big advertisers as your clients, be it Mondelez, mm. Miss Lady, uh, there, there are many of your clients who are big advertisers. So, what kind of yes. uh, plan are you making for them right now in this crisis? Mm. You telling them, advising them to stay away from putting in, of course, because production, how, production is shut, mm. you know, and there are shops are shut. Yes. What yes. kind of suggestions are you giving to your clients right now? So, uh, yeah, the, 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 uh, this is a, a, a tricky situation actually for, for all clients because, yes, you're right, production is a problem, distribution is a problem, uh, 
getting getting stocks to the distributors getting stocks from the distributor to the consumer to the stores is an issue right now uh, e-commerce most e-commerce is also not delivering even even essentials they having problems delivering essentials and the <coughs> local store has become more important uh, so so the challenge is definitely there when uh, you don't have the ability to reach out to your product to the consumer so uh, uh, at one end the advertising you would say i might as well protect this money and use it at times when it is more useful but then at the other end there is also this uh, this thing of uh, not of of losing the equity in the mind of the consumer and then gaining it back will be that much more difficult at the other side of the lockdown so so somewhere it is it is going to be a um, a mix and this depends by category depends by brand uh, the key thing really right now is to find uh, some intelligent ways to retain uh, communication with the consumer a lot of brands are doing it there are a lot of case studies of uh, of brands uh, which are finding innovative ways to stay in touch with the consumer uh, it's also tricky you know you 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 can't seem to be taking advantage of the situation so it's tricky for brands you have to play it uh, very carefully uh, you have to be genuine you have to be honest uh, but uh, so you can't be completely off but you need to find a way to keep engaging with the consumer and also uh, somehow keep very very closely in touch with the situation on ground uh, because when uh, when it does come back to normal uh, we have seen in china we have seen from examples in china uh, that there is a surge in demand and and you have to be there so uh, so it, it it is a balance actually right now uh, uh, the key thing that we are doing is uh, we are sharing information with our clients uh, information on what's happening in media information on what's happening in different categories information on what's happening in different parts of the world because we exist in so many markets across the world uh, we have our offices in china also which is ahead of the curve uh, in 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 this uh, in this situation uh, we also have learned from those markets so we are we are sharing all of this information with our clients we are being in touch with them and talking to them and trying to see what uh, what are the best ways uh, to to manage their investments at this moment so what there is no single some, answer it depends on every client what are some of the key learnings that you have uh, that you are observing from china's example <coughs> so uh, some of the key learnings that we are observing uh, is is that uh, there are uh, the 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 brands that have uh, managed to retain some equity uh, in the minds of the consumer are the brands that are benefiting a lot more at the end of the lockdown okay uh, the brands that have been completely off uh, are struggling to build that equity back so uh, so so that that is definitely one uh, one one uh, one trend that we are seeing uh, and and therefore uh, it is important to to be there in some form uh, uh, while obviously acknowledging the fact that uh, you wouldn't want to uh, invest all your money right now uh, given given that uh, there is a uh, very little of take in some in some cases uh, where where you have uh, free on street or you have retail uh, the sale is completely zero uh, and and therefore uh, Uh, but but then it's it's a tricky balance that you need to maintain uh, and be be around be present in the mind in some fashion uh, may not be at top peak level but yeah also this is the time when the consumption has increased a lot i mean television can be television or be digital so absolutely what what is this particular point how are you communicating this to your advertisers or your clients that you know this is the time where when the consumption as per bark numbers we talk of news channels the consumption has increased mm -hmm. by 268% which is like again another unprecedented thing that has happened right now so what kind mm. of uh, how are you looking into this aspect of the so uh, so so actually this again goes back to our first situation uh, so uh, there's one side of it uh, which is the advantage of uh, media being at its most 
uh, effective uh, possibly uh, but also the uh, the the other side of the coin which is that the brand possibly does not need uh, or or uh, needs to save up a little bit of their investment so it comes back there uh, we are we are using uh, the advantages uh, or, or the increases in media uh, profitability to the client so uh, there are some genres of programming uh, which are going up a lot more than the others uh, there are some media which are not as uh, fast paced growing as the others so we are we are we're keeping the client constantly informed of all the uh, all the shifts uh, and 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 given uh the objectives of the brand and given what we would like to do at this moment we are utilizing media uh, to our advantage you also have uh, netflix as your client i mean their consumption right now yes. i think is must be at its peak and not just yeah, india and almost across the globe mm -hmm. so correct correct i mean i don't want to know the exact plan that you have made for them but i would want to understand yes. what is as a media advisor what is your suggestion for a platform like that no so so obviously it is a it is a fantastic opportunity uh, for netflix uh, these are those tipping point moments that come uh, and and a brand must make the most of it uh, and and yes uh, so so uh, so our, our recommendations are um, to work with the brand obviously i can't i can't reveal too much but uh, We all recognize it. Uh, Netflix recognizes it. Right now, how do they advertise? So it's it's about uh, it's about getting the uh, consumer to to know that there is uh, there are entertainment options available, uh, which are more far digital, superior. What I'm trying to hmm. is it more on digital yes. or on television? Yes. Yes. uh so uh, a lot a lot more on you see it is it is all in in home media right now because uh, there is very little out of home so uh yeah so it is a mix of tv and and digital that that we are using apart from what you are doing with your clients you also have hundreds of people working with you and this is these are very gloomy days a lot of people are directionless they do not know uh, how to keep up keep their spirits high so what how are you handling your team at this juncture absolutely it's it's um it's definitely a challenge and uh, uh, you know uh, it is uh, far more uh, difficult than one would uh, on the face of it if you were to tell people before we went into the lockdown that you could work from home uh, people would have taken it with open arms but uh, as we have all seen uh, we are actually working a lot more in this uh, managed from work managed from home managed work from home environment where we are actually uh, the, the the lines between home and office are also blurring and 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 we have other challenges at home like managing managing stuff at home that needs to get done since you are in the house since there is no house help and and a lot of people who uh, the couple is working uh, has house help and now they have to manage everything on their own and office is on so it is challenging so i think the first thing uh, is empathy you know uh, we all understand the challenges and uh like my people like like the 600 people we have in office even i am going through those challenges and i am completely empathetic of of what they are going through uh this is something we need to understand and we need to be flexible with them uh i think that is important uh the second thing is to be in touch uh there is nothing like uh communication right now uh it's tough it's tough there are some singles we have in our office and and they are locked up in 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 a in a house uh, alone it is not easy it is definitely not easy there's no one else to talk to there is uh, the you need to do everything on your own uh, these are tough times so uh, communicating uh, with people is most important so we have uh, we have tried to ensure that there are fixed times of communication uh, across levels uh, me with my uh, executive committee and then so on and so forth and then us communicating with each office at one time uh, so we have had some very interesting chats with having the whole office uh, come on one one call uh, which is great fun uh, getting them to put on their videos uh, and sharing and and you know seeing the other people around so uh, one piece is communication uh, second piece is 
I think we need to have some fun. Uh, and that's what we're trying to do. Uh, and uh, what has been nice is that people across the level have taken initiatives. So uh, we have someone from our data team who has uh, started classes on data and analytics which I think is such a fantastic initiative. And uh, it, it took off so well. There's, there's, there's so much traction in what uh, she has started. So uh, that is a wonderful initiative. Came completely uh, from the person, uh, and it's a big hit. Uh, there's another uh, team which had a, a jamming session. So they were singing uh, one Friday evening. Uh, it was so lovely because people were uh, uh, coming, contributing, getting their guitars, playing a song, uh, an unplugged event across cities. It was fantastic. Uh, the amount of energy, amount of positive energy, and it gets people to, uh, you know, to, uh, to interact with others and, and feel part of the whole and not feel isolated. <laughs> we also done some quizzes and, you know, some kind of excitement is constantly being done. I'm, I'm very fortunate to have uh, very young, passionate people who are who are pulling it off on their own, and uh, and 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 that is nice to see. So, so in that sense, I think uh, to to go back to what you're saying, you know, this this is a challenging time for our people. Uh, one is uh, to recognize that it is a challenging time uh, and to support them in whatever way is possible, uh, and and to try and communicate uh, and keep spirits high. So. Uh, you know, as long as we can uh, do this, I think we are managing to stay uh, stay together as a flock. And honestly, I believe uh, the kind of connections we've made today uh, in these last two weeks, uh, you don't normally get to make in an office. So normally I would be in an office in and out of meetings, uh, you know, rarely get to meet uh, everyone uh, on a regular basis. But here I'm talking a lot more. Uh, communicating a lot more on a one-to-one -one basis. A chat like this uh, is as personal as it can get, you know, and I think that is the advantage that uh, we have all seen in these last few days. Coming uh, back to the larger economy and the impact of this uh, crisis on our industry, so where, how much do you think this is going to slow down our growth this year? Yeah, so this is this is not going to be easy, and and I, and I hope for all of us that uh, uh, that we are uh, in a position to get out of uh, get out of the lockdown as soon as we can. It is important that everybody supports the lockdown and stays at home um, and manages it. Uh, if every uh, every week we lose is going to affect us more. Um, all of us. Uh, are into scenario planning, so uh, looking at you know what what happens if we manage to get out of the problem in April, May, June, whatever, depending on on when uh, the lockdown ends. Uh, it, it's going to hurt us deep. Uh, it's hurting us at a grassroots level. Uh, you have the lowest common denominator, the the uh, daily wage earner, who's who's been hit the most. Uh, his consumption, which is the you know the bottom of the pyramid. Uh, is getting affected and therefore it keeps going up. Uh, so it, it's, it's going to be it's going to be uh, quite bad. Uh, uh, difficult to right now say give, put put a number on on where we will be. Uh, but uh, but all I can say right now is uh, I hope I hope by end of April uh, we manage uh, to recover. Uh, at least manage to get back into work into more normal life. Uh, even after that, it will take at least six weeks, or maybe longer, eight weeks to uh, to come back to uh, uh, to regular consumption. Uh, so, so it, it's going to be at least a quarter of a hit, you know, uh, a good quarter being hit April, May, June, uh, and uh, yeah. So, so I mean, uh, all of us together hoping it it comes out soon and and we can get back on track. It is also it has also put a lot of pitches on hold, right? So a lot of other, right. other things will also open up after, once the lockdown is over. Uh, That's right. Which which sector you think will be affected the most? It's, it's like print, television, digital of course appears to be the least affected. But 
how is this entire thing going to affect the print domain? The print. <laughs> so, um, uh, like like you said, you know, television and digital have been least affected, and possibly have been uh, positively affected. Uh, print, yes, print has been uh, negatively impacted. Uh, uh, basically because they have not been able to distribute and even after they have managed to get government go ahead uh, to to allow newspaper delivery to happen uh, there are societies which are not allowing newspapers to come into the society so uh, so it's definitely is a challenge right now for them uh, but but print has survived you know? and and they have been innovative and they have um, they have really pulled themselves together i mean Doomsday for print has been uh, predicted for the last ten years. I'm guessing, but but they have they have managed to uh, to stay afloat, uh, the, and uh, they have been innovating. They've added digital. They've been doing a lot of on ground activations. They're bringing themselves together. Uh, so I'm, I'm I'm sure they'll find a way uh, to stay uh, to come back, um, and uh, they should be okay. Uh, what's what's very severely affected? Even outdoor, outdoor for that matter, must have been completely. Completely. So completely that's what I was coming to. I'm saying. Print. Uh, worse than print is cinema. Is out of form. Uh, I feel, I feel for them. I mean, it, it's it's a complete washout. Complete washout. Uh, very complete washout. Uh, so I'm. Uh, it, it is a challenge, but but you know, I'm just being positive about it. Uh, once this gets over, life will come back to normal. People will hit the cinemas again. Uh, people will uh, people will be on the streets again. So it will come back. But yes, uh, uh, they will feel the hit for these two three months uh, that we will all be uh, away from normal life. <laughs> there are crises like this, which I, I I doubt you have experienced anything similar ever in your life. What are some key lessons that you have learned? In these two weeks that we have completed, we are almost in the last week of lockdown. If it, yeah. hopefully, if it is hopefully, not, hopefully, 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 hopefully. Yes. Yeah, so, um, actually, there is there is a lot of learning. There are a lot of introspection uh, also. Where you get you get uh, possibly some time to think. Uh, uh, time to think when you're not traveling, really, because <laughs> because. <laughs> All of us, you know, all of us, when we talk, we feel our days have become far longer. We are starting our days earlier, we are ending them later, and we're constantly on the phone or on on a Teams <coughs> chat and, and trying to get work done. And yeah, so, uh, but I think uh, some of the things um, uh, definitely that uh, possibly I have learned is, is one is to uh, stay a lot more connected. I have enjoyed uh, being uh, being a lot more in touch with my people, uh, and I think that is something that uh, I would like to continue uh, uh, going forward. Uh, I think uh, uh, we have all realized that uh, there is merit in in work from home, uh, and uh, it is not as unproductive as it was thought to be. And we can definitely use that, and and maybe um, there will be, uh, uh, you know, a lot more work from home um, as part of normal process uh, because it is effective. Uh, uh, communication on 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 these apps, which have all come up, uh, which were there but have started being used now, is quite effective, uh, and and I'm sure uh, that that will be uh, used a lot more. Uh, and uh, so, so to me personally, I think one is being connected with uh, people, with my clients, uh, uh, which which has improved a lot, uh, and and quality communication in this in this form, uh, where where you are where you are a lot more personally connected is is definitely going up, and I think that is something that uh, can be a lot more uh, as we as we go on. The other thing I think is is empathy for each other. Uh, what I have seen is across teams, across between us and client, uh, we have become a lot more understanding of each other uh, in this situation. Um, and I think that uh, is something that we will all take away positively with us 
uh, at the end of this lockdown. We also feel we all have more time. Like it's been three months since you become the CEO. I was chasing you for yeah. an interview. It was finally in the lockdown <laughs> that you could give it to me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Yeah, it has been. We had so many meetings. You were always in some or the other meeting. <laughs> So yeah, and I, and, I, and I was in different cities. <laughs> yeah. So now, when we, are, and we, are we are still meeting all your people. And, uh, that's right. That's right. That's right. And we have managed to find time and quality time. Uh, yeah, so, so that definitely is, is a positive. It definitely is a positive. So, uh, because the whole idea of this series is to uh, get leaders like you to inspire young people who are uh, confined to their homes like all of us but are directionless they do not are maybe they're not as uh, experienced as you they do not know what to do in this situation so what kind of advice would you want to give to them uh, uh, this is a good one so i would say uh, firstly look after yourself um, you know uh, Use this time to do a little bit of exercise. Exercise is zero right now, uh, given that you're not even walking to office. Uh, use this time to get some exercise done. Keep some time for yourself. Eat healthy. Uh, this is possibly the only time uh, that you'll ever get to eat ghar ka khana and the kind of khana uh, that you believe is, will make you healthier. So use that opportunity. Uh, find some time uh, to learn a new skill, uh, if you can. Uh, uh, the office is providing a lot of opportunities. So we are creating a lot of uh, programs that people can join uh, to learn a new skill. Uh, either join that or join anything else that you have always wanted to do but never had the time. Uh, do that. Uh, and, uh, and, and spend time with the people uh, you care about. Uh, call them up. Uh, speak to them. Uh, it's important to keep your, uh, keep your spirits high. Uh, and, and we are social creatures, social beings. So it's important for us to be connected with the people we love. So, so I would say use this opportunity. Uh, get healthier, get fitter. Uh, use this opportunity to enhance yourself, enhance your skills. And, and stay connected uh, with the people you love. Thank you so much, Mr. Gupta, for speaking to us. Anything else that you would like to add? Uh, no, you take care of yourself. Yes, thank you. <laughs> and, I, and I hope I hope this is done quickly, and and we are back into action, uh, and and the economy oh, and, and the world is just back getting in. out of this. <laughs> we are back with the family time also now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> thank you, sir. Thank you very much for speaking to us. Uh, pleasure. Stay safe. Pleasure. Stay at home. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Take care. Thanks, Nazia. Bye bye. Thanks. Bye.